perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson and excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Here's the lineup for Spain. Fabian plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the main striker today is Morata. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, the referee opting for the lenient approach this time. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now knows the next foul will be punished. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer step. Oh, he's through here. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance from that sort of distance. He should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Alvaro Morata, a wonderfully driven forward. And Stuart, you would have to suspect he's going to have something to say for himself here. Well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways, but I think he's at his most dangerous when he's running with the ball and hitting his shots with power. It's almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper. That's what makes him a great finisher. Andri read it well with the corner well the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever Miko Williams and taking it away a good effective pressure high up the pitch Jamal Musiala Decent position for Germany to be in. Gundogan might take the lead. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Williams. And well, they've given him too much space. Just couldn't get it through. Danger averted for now. Effective piece of pressing. Kai Havertz. Gundogan. Force. And a chance to whip it in here. Firing it towards goal. He's blocked it. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And well, they're going for the short one. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and a yellow card it's going to be Stuart yeah the ref's got that right it's a yellow card all day long not to like about that pass Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Maximilian Mittelstedt. 
So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Spot on with that tackle. Pedri. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Who can they pick out? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. And increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. The corner kicks keep on coming. Playing it in, still not clear. Rodri. Fabian. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Well, Spain have seen more of the ball in the last 15 minutes, that's for sure. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Oh, great defending. Fabian. And playing it through. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And they will make the change now. And over comes the corner. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. But the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. And so Germany get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Wirtz. Andy. Germany in a position of menace. And played in by Joshua Kimmich. A tremendous block. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay onside there. He didn't read the situation at all. to manoeuvre on the wing oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up Gundogan and the snuffing out of the cross there well it clearly was deflected so it will be their throw in and a chance to whip it in here The 
The danger not over. But timely defending when it mattered. Now oh, can they hit them on the counter? Rodri. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, not cleared away completely. Rodri. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Morata. Having to shoot. And rattling the post. Well, that would have made sure of a well-deserved victory. But they're not quite there yet. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. The super tackle and they've won possession. Well, a really good run. He takes aim. Still could be dangerous. Well, they survived the attack. And it's over now, a win for Spain, it has gone according to their master plan. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, it was a tight game, both sides had their moments and chances, but overall they just about shaded it, a well-earned victory. Well, he does play with real authority, Alvaro Morata. Your thoughts on the Spaniard and what he did in this game? Well, he was at his best today. Lots of energy, good movement and plenty of skill. And to cap it all off, he got the winning goal. That was a brilliant performance.